recognition of the great accomplishments of the South American nation. Lores Perez, the ambassador of the Republic of Venezuela to the Gambia, spoke on the historic events that led to her country's independence. She paid homage to those who put their lives on the line for their freedom and also pledged her country's commitment to the bilateral cooperation between Caracas and Banjul. As for our relations with the people of the Gambia, holding on to the commitments taken in African Union Summit on 2006 and the Joint Commission in 2007, we have signed agreements in various areas like energy, health, agriculture, education, telecommunication, tourism, civil aviation, and fight against drug trafficking. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad, Dr. Mamadou Tangara, for his part, hailed the effort of Simon Bolivar, the man considered as the founding father of Venezuela's nationhood, while saying that the Gambia can learn a lot from the Republic of Venezuela. Dr. Tangara expressed the Gambia government's commitment to upholding the bonds of friendship and cooperation that exist between the two countries. The Gambia can tap into and greatly benefit from the immense experience and best practices amassed over the past 200 years to aid in the achievement of the objectives of Vision 2020 and other development aspirations. What Venezuela has achieved over the decades serves as a model for developing countries such as the Gambia to, elum elum to emulate without reinventing the wheel for the benefit of all Gambians and humanity in general. The Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela is celebrating 200 years of nationhood with the desire for a new world order where sovereignty and independence will rule over war, domination and destruction. Samuel Ba, GRTS. For a very long time, flowers have been used to express one's feeling. Hibiscus, roses and daisies are all well-known flowers that symbolize happiness, love and affection. One thing about flowers though, they have their own language, depending on the type, shape and the way in which they are decorated. Aiseto Dabo takes a closer look at how flowers are presented for joy as well as for sorrow. A flower sometimes known as a bloom or blossom is the reproductive structure found in flowering plants. The biological function of a flower is to affect reproduction, usually by providing a mechanism for the union of sperm with eggs. Apart from their biological function and that of house decoration, flowers are believed to have a language of their own. They can express and convey many feelings, especially compassion and at times a token of forgiveness. Flowers have always been a part of the many special events in a person's life. Their pretty colors and aromatic fragrances add a special touch to any occasion. They do the needful when words fail to convey. According to Eugene Tarawale, flowers are a way to show affection by bestowing very specific meanings in certain varieties. All flowers are picked based on their meaning. For this reason, one would want to give cassia flowers to someone he or she had a hidden love for, or whom you believe to be beautiful. There are also special flowers meant for expressing sympathy. These kinds of plants have inspired designers to make tattoos and beautiful dresses from flowery fabric. Interior designers have also made use of beautiful flowers to do wedding decorations. As a dealer in flowers, Tarawale believes that flowers have numerous healing properties. Flowers have high blood, diabetes, myopia, both problem. Research has shown that besides additional optimism and boosted well-being, sick people had less overall stress, experienced shorter stays in hospitals, and had a lower need for pain medications when in flowery environments. As a result, plants and flowers are regularly included in these places to assist in healing their patients. For many, moods and emotional changes can be altered through flowers. Behavioral scientists have found a definite linkage between happiness and this kind of plants. They can also uplift the satisfaction we have with life and have the ability to affect our social skills in a positive way. For those who love incense, flowers are a great raw material. For GRTS News, I am Isaac Dabo. 
security personnel from the Gambia Police Force, Armed Forces, and the Gambia Immigration Department have been attending a sensitization seminar on child rights. The training earmarked for instructors of the various security units is expected to enhance the scope of the participants on child rights and protection. Daiko Vademba has more. Children the world over come under the category of potential victims of rape, war, violence, to name but a few. This vulnerability of children has made them the center of focus by the government and the CPA, the body charged with the tax of standing by the rights and advancement of children. Their latest efforts saw them train officials in the security sector on the practice of child protection. The training brought together instructors in the security units with the view of empowering them with information and skills in dealing with children and protecting their rights. A range of issues were dealt with, among them, child convention, protection, and investigation techniques. We were at the, the police training academy, the Gambia Armed Forces Training School, and the immigration training school, because quite a lot of recruits go through their hands. So when, if their knowledge and and skills on child rights and child protection are, are enhanced, they would be able to pass the knowledge to their recruits. Speaking at the closing ceremony, Lieutenant Kausa Sanyang urged the officers to be exemplary in all contacts with children and also play their quarter in ensuring that children are well protected. You cannot force an individual to accept what you want him to accept. No, it is not possible. You have to allow him at his own free will to accept what he wants to accept. If he accepts it in a wrong fashion, he will go all out to disseminate the same info, info in that wrong fashion. Also speaking at the occasion, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Interior, hailed the efforts of CPA, noting it is a step in the right direction. In supporting the global initiative in improving the well-being of children, the government has registered great successes in eradicating extreme poverty and hunger among children, achieving universal primary education for children, reduce, reducing child mortality, improving maternal health, etc. Stand in the opinion of a participant after the successful completion of their training, Mother Lamin Juve is with the conviction that this training will go a long way in equipping them with the necessary ingredients necessary in dealing with children and child-related cases. Uh, nonetheless, we are also law enforcers whereby it is deemed necessary for us to know the child protection and the child rights. Being vulnerable to abuse at the same time being the crucial pillars for the future advancement of any nation, children's issues usually account for a great deal of concern to those at the helm of affairs. Risking their proper upbringing and protection would mean risking the future of the society, which any responsible authority would not compromise. OGRTS News, I am Deiko Madema. The rains are here again and locals are preparing for a season of food farming and natural disasters. This year's first downpour came with some unfortunate results for some families in Ibo town who had to struggle to ward off receding water from inundating their houses. Louis Mendy has more on their story. This is from the weather forecast office that the Kanifin municipality and the residents of Banjul with this year experienced torrential rains as Thursday night began sending signals. The Bajikunda family of Iwo Town was left swimming in a pool of water after Thursday's heavy downpour, soaking almost all their belongings. Swedukoli is Idris's wife. Her family's valuable documents including seeds, bags of rice and mattresses are all lost to this flood. A mother of nine children, she is worried. No place to cool her head. The husband who did not spend the night with them was said to be on his way home from work after being reached on telephone. Her story with all these tenants are similar. Our sow, a mother of nine children, is also a tenant here. She's a cripple. The husband is blind. On her wheelchair and her bed floating on this pool, her story is pathetic. She joined her colleagues as they mourn for help with fear for the worst ahead of the long rainy season. Ibo town is no stranger to such disasters. The causes and reoccurrences of these unfortunate circumstances, according to residents of the area, can be attributed to poor drainage system. Louis Mendy, GRTS. We'll be back with more stories after the break. I freestyle and stun it again with the extremely highest bonus. 
on the lowest recharge. That's right. That's the new Apricel e-voucher.